What if I told you that I found a method that gets you over 100,000 XP per game? This is the best 99 overall method in NBA 2K24. If you want the absolute best tips, tricks, tutorials, methods, and meta content, you have come to the right place. If this video helps you out, drop a like. Let's get into the video. What if I told you that if Dak Prescott throws for one yard this Sunday, you win? It's only possible with today's video sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is where you can put your sports knowledge to the test and win up to 25 times your cash. Prize Picks is super easy to use. I make my picks, I choose more or less, and now I try to turn my $100 into $1,000 by clicking place entry. It's that easy. I personally use Price Picks myself and will be using it all NFL season and all NBA season as well. Click the link in description, use code YOUNGDIRK, and Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yes, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Go and get your deposit match right now. Thank you to Price Picks for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. You will not get the full potential of this method if you do not do the correct setup. So make sure you do the setup exactly as I show it to you. First things first, you're going to want to put your settings on Hall of Fame with 12 minute quarters. I know Hall of Fame might be a little intimidating at first, but if you do this method properly, it does not matter. It is very easy. And when you put it on Hall of Fame, you're going to get a 160% my points modifier. So this will make your progress a lot quicker. The reason why we're doing 12 minutes is so you play more and get more possessions on both ends of the court to get an additional 10 percent boost what you're going to want to do is always play your key game so you're going to go here you're going to hit start and advance to your key game and a new one might pop up that's okay just play the key game so you get that extra plus 10 percent on your my points before you start the game you're going to want to go to your goat skills and make sure your two slots are on these two skills right here these two skills are going to give you a slight boost when you are doing this method this is probably the most important part of the setup besides putting it on hall of fame you're gonna go here you're gonna go to your roster and you're gonna find a player on your team that has the highest aerial ace badge paired with driving dunk so in this case for me it's Embiid he has aerial wizard on silver and he has a driving dunk of 80 so after you find your best player on your team with those two you want to find the second best for when he's not on the court so Mo Bamba has aerial wizard on bronze and a 70 driving dunk that's okay let's look at our other teammates we're gonna go to Tobias Harris who does not have aerial wizard so we are not gonna have have him as an option we're gonna try paul reed he has aerial wizard on bronze and he has a let's see what his driving dunk is i believe it is a 75 yes it is so he's gonna be better than mo bamba and we're gonna try pj tucker he plays as well but a 60 driving dunk is not gonna cut it so we have identified Embiid as the best and then paul reed and for the cherry on top for the setup, you're going to want to buy playmaking and passing boost, excuse me, ball handling and passing. It's 1500 for 10, and this will give you a slight edge. The first thing we're going to do is going to speed up your offensive possessions a ton and make the game just go a lot faster. You're going to run a half court trap. How you do this is on defense, you're going to press the left D-pad on your controller, which will bring up the menu, and then you're gonna tap RB or R1 to set the half court trap. The reason why we are doing this is the other team is gonna shoot the ball a lot quicker, and if they're shooting a lot quicker, that means we will get the ball faster and we'll have more offensive possessions. This method is offensive based, so you wanna get on offense as many times per game as possible. Now for the offensive side of the ball, there are a few variations of this, and I'm gonna go over them one by one the first thing you're gonna do is hit left on your d-pad and call for a quick isolation on the wing remember earlier we identified the best teammate for this method you're gonna specifically call a screen from that teammate and if you don't know how to do that here's how so i want to call Embiid for a screen i tapped lb or l1 and then i held down his icon which was lt or l2 if you're on playstation so again you're gonna tap lb and then hold down that specific teammate icon so if it's the power forward for example you're gonna press y and if it's a small forward you're gonna press x all right so now the easy and the fun part Embiid is coming for the screen as soon as he starts to set his feet 
you are going to do any move towards the screen and you are going to wait until his defender is attached to you see how he's now attached you're then gonna throw it and it's gonna be an easy alley-oop every single time and if you don't know how to throw an alley-oop it is double tapping y or triangle now there are other variations to this method let me show you right now when this specific situation happens a few people will get intimidated do not worry i'm going to show you exactly what to do you're going to call your iso you're then going to call your teammate to come screen like i said the best one that we picked from the beginning now pay attention to Embiid here he's gonna get like stuck setting the screen and he's gonna hold it for too long like i don't know why he's doing that he's just taking too long so look here see how it's like cluttered in the paint that doesn't matter bro just throw it even if you get all the way into the paint if Embiid is behind you or trailing you it does not matter just throw it if he's attached that's okay throw the ball it'll still be a perfect alley-oop another variation is if they are slightly in the lane don't worry you're gonna get a contact lob that's the whole point of the aerial wizard badge especially if it's with Embiid and he has his takeover it's gonna be a contact dunk literally every single time as you guys can see i have 65 assists and six turnovers right now so the reason why having low turnovers is important is because of your grade you want to try to get an a to an a plus it'll give you a multiplier so right here as you saw i called for the pick and roll and i didn't like my angle on the lob so i didn't throw it that's okay if it's not there. See how it's like the other dude recovered and he was on a bead. Walk the ball back out and try again. You do not want to force a bad pass. Be patient. Make sure the pass is there. Don't just force it and get tons of turnovers and ruin your grade. Grade is very, very important. Come back out, come back and bead. Set my pick, let me throw you the lob. A bonus tip, don't wait for both takeovers or team takeovers, that's just not the smartest move. When you do get your takeover, make sure you do your playmaking takeover so you can throw the best lob passes and limit your turnovers. And if you're a build with no pass accuracy, obviously the first part of this video will not work for you. What I want you to do is catch lobs. That will help you get tons of my points as well. Not 100K, but it will definitely give you a lot and that is for sure your best option if you don't have pass accuracy also for those wondering my pass accuracy in this video was only on a 70 finish the game with 68 assists and as you can see this is no photoshop this isn't fake this is 100 legit and you're gonna get a ton of playmaking badges as well if you want to get your shooting badges max super fast that video is on screen i recommend checking it out hope you guys have a great day drop a like if this helped you Go out. <laughs>